What's up with it guys, you got excellent name here, back again for my week 4 ASL match up against TJ and he brings quite an unexpected team, definitely not a lot that I was expecting. He brings Sylvali, uh, Don Fan, Vaporeon, Rebombi, Mew and Gorgeist. I definitely expected Gorgeist, Mew and Don Fan, maybe Vaporeon, but other than that, a lot of unexpected stuff. No Kama O, which I was happy to see. No Tita and no Porygon 2, which is a bit less happy to not see, but anyway, we'll jump right into it. I wasn't exactly sure how to lead here, but I figured that Mega King Scarn didn't really lose anything against any leads. At worst, I get to Mega Evolve, and at best, I might be able to put some pressure on if he doesn't go into the guys. So we just lead off the King Scarn, pressure out the Rebombi, and um, he doesn't want to take a fake out because that'll break his sash, so he just goes into the Gore guys here and as I Sad. Um, Switch out to an Incineroar, definitely a safe play here, don't lose a lot, just Leech Seed and this gives me a free knockoff onto something. Goes into Vaporeon and takes a nice 39%, um, but then recovers a bit off with the Leech Seed so I can just um, hard switch into the Roserade and he makes a good play of um, Baton Passing and Spali to keep the pressure up. I just go back into, um, into Incineroar here as he sets up a sub so I'm in a bit of a bad situation but thankfully he misses a Toxic as I go for a Drain Punch to try to heal a bit off. He goes for a Toxic again and misses again as I U-turn to break the sub. Um, so that's a bit unfortunate in that he's not going to be able to chip me down as easily um, which is definitely sucks for him as Incineroar would have been really nice for Rebombi and Mew but I do have Wish Passing King's Gun in the back so it wasn't going to be too difficult for me to keep him healthy so I just go into Landorus here and uh, click knockoff to get rid of another item real quick I expected potentially Gorgeist guys to come in and uh, now I just switch into King's Gun I can take anything that he wants to go for and then I double expecting the Gore guys super to come out now this is going to give me um, three toxic spikes which is going to put a lot of pressure onto this team and um, at this point I fear the flamethrower so I just switch out I don't want to take a fire move on him as it's still very important um, and yeah then I get toxic uh, so I just go for the earthquake here on the Don Fan earthquake kills I don't want to get spun on I've got the Archie Berry to take the ice shard so I can just earthquake again here um, and kill him off. At this point I'm not very useful, I can only take one rock and then toxic damage in it. So I just sack it off to the Rebombi. I clicked the explosion there so that he wouldn't get too much off of setting up. And then he goes into Vaporeon, presumably to take a bullet punch as I just get out my rocks here. Put him in a really bad situation as I can just go into a Roserade here and unfortunately, and I not yet, he wishes here. Um, and I just want to go for a Giga Drain here to try to get some damage off. Um, in case he went for the Protect then he would just be able to stay in. And uh, yeah, then I go into the Metagross um, because this is the least useful Pokemon on my team right now. I don't want anything else to take a Flamethrower really. In case he goes for Toxic I don't want to bring in Incineroar. And yeah, he just kills me there. Um, this gives me a chance to set up with Deoxys Speed. I don't take too much from the Flamethrower, it's about 49% which is exactly how much he does, and I live it here quite comfortably, so I can kill him off here. Um, I kill everything on his team now, uh, so he goes into the Gorgeist and um, ends up clicking Shadow Sneak to kill me off. That was un an unfortunate roll against me, that uh, definitely cost me a big sweep there, but it doesn't matter in the end, I've got... I can go into Incineroar to put on the pressure, I click Knock Off here, which is enough to kill the Rebombi after toxic damage, so I didn't lose anything there, and it would have killed the Vaporeon. Um, but now he goes into it, I don't want to risk getting uh, outsped, so I just go into this and I get crit burned, which is super unfortunate. It's going to make me less effective at taking hits from maybe a Mew. Um, so the Mew is going to come in now, and I expect him to predict the Incineroar, and he does, so he surfs. I just stay into Gear Drain, do a lot of damage. Um, and at this point I don't really need um, Roserade anymore so I just sack it off to the Psychic. I would have lived that Psychic if I wasn't crit burnt, but it is what it is. It still was enough to win me the game in the end. Psychic doing very little damage, he can't switch out because he'll die to rocks and poison anyway. And now I can go into um, the Gore guys here. I just want to set up a wish so that I can make sure that my uh, Incineroar is as healthy as possible, knowing that he can't really do anything to the Incineroar. Um, 
he just goes for seeds to try to put some pressure on me and I just get back to near full health and just go for a knockoff here to get rid of his item as he goes for a synthesis and then I just finish him off with a fire punch in the end to win the game. Uh, the crit didn't really matter. Um, I was out damaging his synthesis anyway. So, and also Pengstown would have been out of stall and out of synthesis in the end. So yeah, good games to TJ, well played overall, but um, yeah, that's how the game goes sometimes. Bit disappointed, honestly, bit of a hollow victory to not get the opposite sweep, but it is what it is. We'll just have to bounce back next week to get a bigger win, hopefully, with the Deoxys. One kill isn't exactly what I want to see, but it's alright, I guess. We'll uh, see you next time. Peace.